Your Excellency, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces. Principal Secretary, Ministry of Education, Chairman, Board of Governors, the Principal of the School, Babayao, the Governor of Kiambu, and all elected leaders present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is over 74 years since I left Mango to pursue further studies. <laughs> Although it, it is not these grounds, but a little village in, inside Kiambu called Ryoki, where I roamed and made hell with other teenage students uh, at the place. But because of the atmosphere of that little place, when I stand here, I really see what I saw during the war. That was during the Second World War. I remember with the nostalgia some of the colleagues with whom I learned at Mangu. Tall Lawrence Sagini, we call him Sunu Murefu because he was about six foot eight inches. <laughs> Tall Titus Mbathi, who later became a cabinet minister, just as Lawrence Sagini became a cabinet minister. I remember diminutive Sam Mwenzi, who became a famous neurosurgeon. Humorous Peter Nyakiamo, who became a chairman of a big bank and also a cabinet minister. I remember clearly George Nthenge, who became a freedom fighter and a famous a member of parliament. Then a small boy who was a bell ringer, Tom Boyer, who became a cabinet minister. And then, just as I was leaving, an old man came with a little boy holding him, wanting to join Mangu. The little boy became later on the third president of the Republic of Kenya, Mwai Kibaki. We did receive a holistic education that embraced academic work, manual work, physical work, civic education, core values of uh, uh, integrity, and above all, religious teaching. It is very gratifying that Mangu continues in the same value chain that continues to produce leaders of our country and beyond. At the time when one is in school, it's only natural for a growing boy or a girl once in a while not to appreciate the teachings or taking them seriously while it's the ultimate reason to take education, uh, to take examination and, and excel in them, education should, be purely, should not be purely for passing exams. Today, it's prize giving day, which is important to all stakeholders, the students, the parents, and the teachers. Today, there are those who are going to receive prizes. Others will not receive prizes. But I would like to ask the students to feel that they are all winners. 
There should be no envy. There should be no depression. Nor should there be showing off. Society will ask you what you have done with your prizes, medals, and qualifications. Remember, the world owes you nothing. It, it is the other way around. You owe your family everything because of the sacrifices they made to get you where you are. You owe service to the country and to the world as a whole. So when you leave the grounds of Mangu High School for your further development, remember you are in debt to mankind. Mangu High School Board of Governors, thank you for inviting me to this occasion to be able to breathe the air of Mangu again. I want to thank also the student fraternity for the excellent work they have done for the school and for the young man who aspires to be the next the president in the future. I wish you the very best. Before I conclude, I want to inform you, to give you uh, the apologies of my f dear friend and the third president of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Mai Kibaki. He has, he has given me, thank you, has given me a message which I will now read to you. Your Ex Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, members of the Board of Governors, Mango High School Fraternity, parents, alumni, friends of Mango High School, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to share with you my joy and well wishes during Mango High School prize giving day. Mango High School has a special place in my heart. This is where I cut my teeth as a budding scholar. Many years on, I still have a fresh and fond memories of my days as a student at Mangu High School. It is Mangu that my sense and sensibilities of public service were honed. And it is here that I first encountered and engaged the face of Kenya as I interacted with boys from various parts of our country. I believe the current crop of Mango High School students and the school vast alumni share similar sentiments. The discipline instilled in us at Mango High School during our formative years is espoused in the school's motto, Jishinde Ushinde. This one-of-a-kind motto implores us to reflect keenly upon what personal sacrifice, including restraint, we should make in order to emerge dignified. The motto was as relevant then as it is today. I encourage each one of the students here today to resist the lure of reckless behavior that could compromise your future prospects. With regards to standing with this school, I wish to commend Mr. George Mahoho, whose 23 years dedicated service to Mangu has etched a thumbprint of illustrious service worth emulating. To you, current students, my message is that you remember that many Kenyans who have served God and this country with great dedication were once young persons like you. They went through the same routine you are going through. Use your time wisely. 
be diligent, cultivate a culture of integrity, and above all, believe and trust in God. And when your turn comes to serve this nation, finally do so with honesty and sobering dedication and honesty. To those being fitted today for excellence, well done. To those who do not, did not make it this time round, there is a next time. And all of you, God bless. Mike Kibaki, third president of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. Thank you, sir, once again.